Hi guys and welcome to a new round of State of Survival with your favorite monkey. Today we talk about Limitless Hero Generation 2 or Generation 14. This is all about Wolfie as infantry hero, Jab as hunter hero and Trish as rider hero. But first of all, the needed amount of potions as well as capsules have not changed. So to finish the blue brain you will need 1200 potion and 80 capsules. And to max out the purple one you need 3480 potions and 522 capsules per hero. This is not including to upgrade the skills. But an inf important information is that you can use the same potions for Limitless 2 or Generation 14 as you have using them for Generation 13. The new max stats of this hero generation are 2158, so when you have fully unlocked the purple brain that are the stats you got. But that is with limited zero a nice side effect but the skills are far more important at those generations and generation 14 is highly focused on disarming skills rather than any combo skills functionality that generation 13 had. But due to formation systems they will have also combo skill effects. So let's start with Wolfie and his skill descriptions. So on max level, his first skill is when a light infantry takes damage, Wolfie uses his ground slam skill on the attacker with a 20% chance to disarm them and make them take 15% more damage for one round, which is pretty strong because when you disarm them, it will show you in the further explanations of the other skills that this will have a huge impact when you disarm the opponent. His second skill is about every seven turns uses special asset to attack enemies reducing all enemies defense by 55 percent for two turns if an enemy is already disarmed remember first skill further reduces their defense by 10 percent so even within the hero there is a combination of skills so in the first skill disarms them in the second part it even decrease his defense so the third skill is uses Biogear to empower troops. Allied infantry take 13% less damage. The disarming chance is increased by 5. So with the third skill you can even keep on going to disarm the opponents. So let's go to Jab. Jab has also a strong skill effect. So his first skill is every 5 turns uses AP shot to deal 132 damage damage that penetrates the first row to hit the second row so it's kind of a bypass functionality this damage is increased by 200 percent against infantry and increased by 50 percent against radius so you really hit hard on infantry which is pretty strong the second skill is death drone checks the enemy's combat capabilities and reveals their weakness every turn there is a 20% chance to make enemies take 3.6 more damage up to 20% more damage. So it's kind of 6 rounds stacking till you hit 20% more damage by the second skill. The third skill, when the enemy's weaknesses are revealed by Death Drone, Elite Hunters deal 20% more damage and ignore 5% defense. And the third hero we know is Trish. Trish is on maxed skills. The first skill is equips mad pack to allied infantry. Every time an infantry take damage, uses mad pack to heal them. Upon taking damage, an infantry have 30% chance to take 30% less damage. So this is pretty strong, especially as it's infantry that doesn't get damage. Second skill is sprays liquid nitrogen on the battlefield. What it means is every seven turns deals 460 damage to enemies and disarm them for one turn. Again, remember Wolfie skills, so it's combination, because now it's coming what on top. If an enemy is already disarmed, they take 40% damage, which means in every 7 turns there's a chance of taking up to 500% more damage to the enemy. And the third skill is injects sedatives into elite hunters to increase their attack by 36% and damage dealt by 5%. Sounds a little bit strange if you inject sedative to anyone that they increase their attack but well we know we're in a zombie apocalypse so that might be a case for anything but an initial recommendation if you ask what to focus on based on the skill set 
I would highly recommend to focus for now on Wolf and Jap. But there's a pre-live release recommendation, so stay tuned on the server for the first tests and more reliable information. I hope I could give you a brief introduction in the three new heroes.